you can't see them. They're really dark. It's fine. But hey everyone, welcome to organizing my built-in bookshelves. I'm so excited about this. If you haven't caught that video yet or if you hadn't been watching my vlogs, I made built-in bookshelves. I'll link it up above if you do want to check it out. It took me so long, so much longer than I thought it would, but it turned out perfect. I mean better than I honestly would have hoped for. They are perfect. Blood, sweat, and tears went into this. Thank God I love them, you know? Today we're gonna finally be putting in all the books that haven't had a home in my new home into my built-in bookshelves. Uh, my idea with them was originally to just put in like my favorite books, my prettiest books, my classic edition books into these shelves. I just wanted it to be a vibe and that is still kind of where I'm planning on going with it. I do want to fill them up though. I mean, I have a lot of books that currently don't have a home. So that's gonna be a thing. Eventually I will also probably have to do a reorganizing my main shelves. Those are not going away. I've had a lot of people in my real life ask me if I'm just getting rid of those now. No, I have way too many books to fit just in these two little shelves. This was an aesthetic. This was a, a labor of aesthetics. So those are going to be sticking around. Maybe one day we'll do something with them, but definitely expect a video reorganizing all of those. Just maybe not right now. I don't know how I'm going to film this just because they are such a deep dark blue that like they don't show up obviously. I don't know. And then the windows in the middle that causes more light. But we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna do it today. I don't know, let's just get started. <laughs> And just cutting in really quick to say thank you to today's sponsor, which is HelloFresh. I was actually subscribed to and adored HelloFresh in the past, if you guys remember. So when this opportunity came up, I was so hyped. HelloFresh makes cooking something delicious easy. And in a time of the year where most people's schedules are getting hectic, you can count on them to get you some of your free time back. And each recipe and pre-proportioned ingredients comes right to your door so you can skip the grocery store altogether. And and it's actually cheaper than the grocery store and 25% less expensive than takeout so you're saving money so you can splurge on maybe some other fun things and you don't even have to sacrifice the quality of your ingredients to do so because quality is actually HelloFresh's priority and the fresh ingredients are traveling directly from the farm to your house in less than seven days to guarantee this. I know, amazing. And for my fellow picky eaters, it's even perfect for us because they have over 35 weekly recipes so there's surely something that you're gonna find on there to enjoy and you can actually tweak the recipes so you can swap out proteins or sides or you can upgrade to different proteins or add proteins to veggie dishes I actually tweaked the recipe that I'm making today which is the sweet chili pork bowls and swapped out pork for ground beef because I actually don't eat pork and Spoiler alert, it was still delicious. I love feeling like a little chef making my HelloFresh meals and not having to worry about whether it's going to turn out okay. I mean, the ingredient sheets have step-by-step -step instructions, which makes it virtually foolproof, even for someone like me who doesn't cook all that often. So if you've actually been wanting to try out HelloFresh, they gave me an amazing deal for my subscribers. All you have to do is go to HelloFresh.com and use code Bibliophile70 for 70% off plus free shipping. So thank you so much much to HelloFresh for my meals and for sponsoring this video and let's see if Adam liked it. How is it? Yeah? Okay, cool. I brought in the books that were at least out in the loft that hadn't been homed that I'm pretty sure I want to put into here. There's a lot more in the shelves too and then I know that I want to play around with like taking the dust jackets off of some of the books uh, to see if there's like prettier books underneath them. So, I don't know, we'll just have to kind of get started and go from there. I feel like now that I'm actually doing it, I'm anxious about it, which is dumb. I think I'm more anxious about trying to film it. We'll see what happens.
uh, we need an intermission because first of all, I realized that this would have been a lot easier with the sun down. So I don't know why I try to force it for morning time. But anyways, besides that, I kind of forgot one of my main ideas with this was that yes i wanted like my classic looking books to go on them but also i'm really kind of feeling more of like a neutral shelf vibe and when i was taking off all of my best books to put them on here i was like wait i'm leaving i'm leaving only books that like i don't know if i would love to have as a background all right that that's a little harsh a lot of them are still really pretty what i think i'm gonna do then is kind of go through the books i know i'm going to be going through some of my book of the month books specifically because i kind of like them without their dust jackets on i did it for my mom recently and i'm going to take off the dust jackets off of the ones that i don't necessarily like need to have displayed on my shelves i had to remind myself you know there's two organizations technically happening in one go right now without doing the other ones so i think i'm gonna like the idea of like the gilded not gilded is that the right word just the the like dark books which have like the gold leafing on them i know that i think i I know that I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I like them on these shelves. But with that same breath, I actually do like how like some solid gold looks on the white shelves. I need to go through some of those, you know? Maybe let the sun go down a little so you can actually see what I'm doing. Apollo has joined. He loves the window seat. So, I'm calling an intermission. We're taking a break from this. The thing is, is I like them both, kind of. Like from far away, I like them both, but for different reasons. I don't know, I don't know. I could believe that it could be because it's partially empty, but the thing is, is when I start to fill up the shelves, I start to not like it as much. It might be because I still haven't used the topmost shelves. I don't know if I'm just like only used to using like the amount of shelves that I have used or what. It could even just be like the bottoms where like this one's like less finished and this one has like all perfectly even like book of the month books that I took the dust jackets off of. I'm not sure but i think i'm just gonna sit on it for tonight and also like go through these shelves that i have over there and like the rest of the books that are in another room to see which ones i think i'm not going to want to put on these other shelves so that i can find a way to merge them into this one i'm not sure it could even just be that it needs like some decor pieces so i need to like pull those out i know that i have things that i was going to use to decorate the shelves anyways i know that i wanted to put halloween stuff on it i don't know i'm gonna sit on it tonight Maybe things will change up, but tomorrow we're going to actually finish it. So, um, I bid you farewell. Okay, we're doing a quick round two because I have to go pick up my Halloween costume. <laughs> so, I took more books off my shelves yesterday and took like the dust jackets off. So we're going to just be, just watch. I know it's not very clear. We'll do that at the end. <laughs>
it's done. <laughs> It's finished. I put in the knickknacks. I kind of rearranged a few things here and there. I'll do like a pan over of everything. I'm sure things will change. Like obviously as I get different books that I think fit better on here, I'll switch things out. I really actually enjoy the way that like th the books look flipped around, especially if they're deckled edges. I feel like the deckled edges really adds that extra like, you know? And I didn't want to have too many knickknacks on it because I didn't want it to like look crowded. I like how it turned out though. I will say I think I prefer how this side looks a little bit more. I think I just like the more like gilded spines. Like I like how the black with the gold looks specifically. So we'll see how that turns out eventually but for right now it's like the dark academia window seat of my dreams. I'm very very pleased with how it came out. That's that. We did it. These shelves I'll be tackling. I'll be tackling it soon because I've been thinking a lot while I was doing this one about how I'm gonna rearrange these and I think I'm gonna scoot them over as well just to give this side a little bit more room because I think the reason that this side also pulls so dark is because of how close these shelves are to it. So we'll see if that helps at all but in the meantime, I don't know. Is it a vibe? It's a vibe, right? Like, come, wait, wait, wait. Oh wait, Apollo, come here. Yeah, come here. Come here, my love. Get up here, my mama. Come on. Good boy. He's purring. He thinks it's a vibe. It's a vibe. I told you, I'm obsessed. So, come on, furry baby. Tell the people hello. You're a wizard. You're a little wizard. <laughs> He's staring at the ring light. He's like, Mom.
so there you go there you have it we set up my new bookshelves today i hope you enjoyed the video honestly i haven't been able to stop staring at them ever since i set them up and put all the books in them i'm obsessed absolutely so it's definitely my favorite piece of the room now can't wait to kind of like keep working on this room and making every piece perfect but for right now we have this one we have these perfect shelves and i hope you enjoyed this video i had fun <laughs> so that'll be it leave me comments down below let me know what you want to see next let me know if you enjoyed this and yeah highly recommend granted this took like a lot of my life months of work lots of mistakes lots of moments where i was like there's no way this is gonna turn out how it was in my head and the fact that it did mind-blowing so if i can do it probably anybody could do it at this point <laughs> I don't know if this video is gonna go up before the vlog of actually building them so if you haven't seen that vlog yet don't worry it'll come and if it's in the right order then good job Brittany you did it you're a youtuber so that'll be it for this video today guys I love you so so much and I'll see you in the next one if I can get myself to stop sitting here and just absorbing the vibes and actually get to work only time will tell <laughs>